four new stories for you is firstly we have a few pictures from Mogadishu Somali capital capital of Somalia we know that last night an armed group carried out five attacks in Mogadishu some journalists uh, went to cover the site where the attack was carried out how did uh, Somalia's police treat those journalists alarming treatment I have a few pictures for you secondly words Tigrayans and Eritreans are planning a demonstration in Brussels tomorrow thirdly prosperity party ruling party in Ethiopia led by Ethiopian PM Abi has released a statement about national dialogue about the inclusion of uh, PPLF and OLA in talks or otherwise. What is Prosperity Party saying about talks with PPLF or OLA? And lastly, viewers, uh, US State Department and Ethiopian Human Rights Commission have released statements. They are calling for immediate release of Tigrayans they are uh, welcoming lifting of national emergency but they are calling for the release of those who were taken to custody when the national emergency was imposed last year firstly viewers uh, somalia we know that last night al shabab attacked the suburbs of mogadishu uh, at least five attacks were carried out, suicide vehicles were used and several buildings have been destroyed including a building of a police station in Kahda district. Some journalists went to Kahda to cover uh, uh, the destruction there caused by uh, the attack carried out by uh, al Shabaab. Now, Somalia's police uh, newly trained uh, Haramad police uh, force members arrested these journalists. They were blindfolded, their hands were tied on their back and they were thrown on the ground on their chests. Have a look at these pictures. The persons uh, on the ground are journalists. Uh, Aves Jelikau, who is from 5 TV, he's a reporter, is one of them. Two journalists of Somali cable. These are journalists. They are not criminals. They are not uh, the attackers. They went there in Kahda district just to cover the development which is definitely the work of journalists but uh, Haramad police of Somalia arrested them, detained them and misbehaved with them. It's alarming, it should be condemned viewers. Uh, the police is so incompetent that uh, Al-Shabaab fighters have carried out five attacks in five different locations in one night instead of uh, confronting al shabaab fighters these police officials have detained these poor journalists it, it should be condemned uh, somalia's government must take notice secondly viewers uh, tomorrow a major demonstration is uh, going to be carried out by tigrayans and Aratians. The planning for this demonstration has been going on for several days. The demonstration will be carried out in Brussels in Belgium. Large number of Tigrayans and Eritreans are expected to participate in this rally, in this protest. Now, uh, it will be interesting to see how many Eritreans will participate in tomorrow's protest. We have seen the participation of Eritreans in some protests uh, held under the banner of No More Movement. 
the ba- uh, the movement targeted uh, us and western governments it uh, accused them of interfering in ethiopian internal matters so in no more protests we saw presence of iratians as well now tigrayans and aratians are also going to hold a joint protest rally in brussels tomorrow they say that uh, uh, Ethiopian forces, uh, Iratian forces, and uh, Amhara regional forces committed genocide of Tigrayans. International community should take action against uh, these uh, forces. We'll update you tomorrow from uh, Brussels. Thirdly, words Prosperity Party, ruling party of Ethiopia, led by Ethiopian PM Abiy, has released a statement about national dialogue. The party is in power in Addis Ababa, in regions as well, in uh, Oromia, in Afar, in Somali region, in Amhara. Prosperity Party is in power. What does this party say? Party says no negotiations with those groups who uh, were designated as terrorist groups by Ethiopian parliament. In May last year, Ethiopian parliament, Ethiopian House of People's Representatives uh, designated Tigray People Liberation Front and Romo Liberation Army as terrorist organizations. Uh, first uh, Ethiopian uh, cabinet approved, then uh, the parliament uh, ratified the decision of uh, uh, Ethiopian cabinet and the two groups were declared as banned as status groups. So prosperity party says no talks with these banned parties. How will you resolve the conflict between Tigray government, regional government and Ethiopian government, between OLA, Roman Russian Army and Romia government and federal government, if you don't talk to these groups, it means war will go on. Does the Prosperity Party want the war to go on? Why is it saying that no talks with these groups? Because we know that uh, international community has been calling uh, Uh, upon Ethiopian government that it should include all parties in the talks that we have heard from Kenya, if you remember. Kenya during a UN Security Council session said that designation of terrorist organizations should be removed from TPLF and OLA and talks should be held with all stakeholders. Some African countries, international World powers, they are urging Ethiopian government to include TPLF and OLA in talks. But Prosperity Party says no talks with these uh, so-called terrorist outfits. If you remember, uh, uh, last week, uh, Annette Weber, uh, European Union's special envoy to the Horn of Africa, visited to Ethiopia. She met with Ethiopian PM as well, I think. And after her visit, she had said that there was a strong possibility that uh, TPLF and OLA could be removed from the list of terrorist organizations. Talks were underway. Now you see, Prosperity Party is against the removing of these two uh, groups from a uh, terrorist organization. Otherwise, the party should have called for inclusive dialogue. But it says that no talks with these groups. How will you, can you call this dialogue inclusive national dialogue if some groups are out of it? Lastly, viewers, US State Department and Ethiopian Human Rights Commission have released separate statements. They have welcomed uh, lifting of national emergency. Yesterday, Ethiopian House of People's Representatives uh, voted and uh, national emergency was lifted. 25% of the members of HOP are opposed the lifting of national emergency. But since majority voted in support of the resolution, that is why uh, the emergency has been lifted. Now, 
Ethiopian Human Rights Commission and US State Department, they are welcoming this move. But they say that those persons who were arrested under national emergency law, they must be released immediately as well. We know that thousands of Tigrayans are still in detention. They have not been released. So if you lift national emergency and if you don't, uh, but you don't uh, release them, it means problem is there, issue is still there. So that is what uh, Ethiopian Rights Commission and uh, the US are urging Ethiopian government to do that it should release uh, the Tigrayans, uh, the persons arrested during imposition of national emergency. Will the government release these uh, prisoners? Let's see, we'll keep you updated. Thank you for watching.